Hi, welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for November 2023. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in just three minutes. All right, it's the big month. .NET 8 is here, and we've got this announcement post. If you only read one post this month, make it this one. There's tons of great stuff in this release all across the stack, including this cool new reference application. It's the eShop reference app, and it includes uh, cloud native, uh, AI, and a bunch of other things that are really great in .NET 8. Uh, part of the exciting, exciting announcements this month was .NET Aspire to help you build cloud native applications. It includes this nice dashboard and some components to help you compose your cloud native apps. In ASP.NET announcements for the release, we have, of course, performance, also AOT improvements, and a lot of great stuff for Blazor developers. Uh, we've got EF8 out, which includes value objects using complex types. And we've also got a .NET MAUI announcement. Most of the focus in this release was in performance and quality, but there are also some nice features here. Uh, we've got C Sharp 12 out. I'm loving some of the nice things here, including uh, collection expressions and also primary constructors, really cleaning up my code. Uh, we've got F Sharp 8 out, including property shorthand and also some nice string interpolation improvements. Uh, we've got announcements on ML.NET 3.0 and chiseled containers. And moving to tooling, we've got, of course, releases of Visual Studio. We've got 17.8 and 17.9 Preview 1. One of the handy things you may not have seen is the uh, UI refresh. This is a preview that you can turn on. Uh, it just kind of cleans up the interface, and there's also support for, um, for nice color themes as well. In community news, uh, there's this nice Reddit post with a great answer from David Fowler on how ASP.NET is so fast. We've got uh, the .NET Foundation newsletter, which includes uh, community events and call for presentations that are open. JetBrains' annual survey results are out, some really interesting things here. And of, uh, of course, we've got the .NET Conf, all the great goodies that you can catch up on for the month, including over 100 videos and local events coming to a location near you. And that's a wrap for this month. All the links are in the description below.